Okay. If um, uh, before we get started, one thing I should mention that uh, Glenn and I are highly paid facilitators. Uh, that may even seem hard to believe. Uh, but we are, one thing we are definitely not is highly paid uh, actors. So uh, you're going to be seeing us reading off a script. We've done this uh, bike thing 20 times now, but maybe a little bit more than that. And we're, we've memorized it up to about halfway through the script, but there's uh, five pages here and that's five too many. So uh, we are going to be reading off the script, so just bear with us. Um, and we'll get, we'll, get, uh, we'll get dive right in. So situation, everybody can see okay? Great. All right, so if we leave you with anything about hybrid synergy drive today with respect to how it works and what it really is, it's this. I want you to picture hybrid synergy drive like one of these, a recycling bin. And that's because hybrid synergy drive has the ability to create power, <coughs> store power, and reuse power. Okay, it's almost like we're off grid. All right. And we do that because of we have gas. Just keep that in mind. Where do I, when I create that power and I store that power and I reuse that power, where am I putting it to and where am I taking it from on our vehicles? No, where am I putting it in? Where am I taking it from and where am I storing it? The hybrid battery. So picture the hybrid battery on all our hybrid synergy drive vehicles as one of these, a recycling bin. Always putting things out, somebody comes along, takes these papers out, recycles them for reuse later. Okay, same with energy. So that's why we're going to put our recycling bin right back here where our batteries are on our vehicles. So, much like our uh, tandem bicycle here, uh, our hybrids have two sources of power. And, as you figured out while we're wearing these shirts, one source of power is gas engine, the other source of power is electric motor. Okay, I will be the front cyclist in our little show today, and I've try, uh, trained all these many weeks to provide power at low speed. And meanwhile, I'll be the rear cyclist. I represent the gas engine, and I will be providing power. I've trained very hard to provide power at higher speeds. Okay. <laughs> so, Glenn and I, on our bicycle, as you can see, we can work together, or we can work independently. Everything that I have said, is true about our bicycle, is true about hybrid synergy drive. Now in contrast to our system, some of our, mild, our competitors' mild hybrids have a small electric motor, which I touched on earlier, that helps the engine but cannot alone drive the wheels. So much like the picture you see here of the uh, tag-along bike being ridden by the young child, sure enough the child is helping, but if the adult was not pedaling, chances are the child could not move that bike on his or her own. So I'm going to summarize for you the equipment that is on every one of our hybrid synergy drive vehicles, regardless of what nameplate it's on. It. We have a, uh, two motor generators, MG1 and MG2. We also have a nickel metal hydride battery, which is mo uh, most often in the back of the vehicle. Anything that uses electricity is going to be represented by me. And meanwhile, I represent the Atkinson Cycle gas engine. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. And that's why I have a t-shirt with a gas pump on it. I represent all things gas. So what we're going to do, folks, is take you through common scenarios that we all encounter on a drive. On a stoplight, starting off, slow driving, cruising, accelerating, and slowing down, braking and slowing down. Okay? Everybody encounters those. What we're going to be showing you is what the car is doing in each one of those scenarios when it comes to gas engine and electric motors. What I'd like to point out to you, though, at this point is don't pay attention to the pedals of the bicycle. We didn't get a clutch, uh, a, a tandem bike with a clutch on it. So just pay attention to whose legs are moving, not the pedals, okay? So, ready? We'll start. So right now we're at a stoplight, a uh, red light or a, a, some sort of stop sign. As you can see, we're not moving and both Glenn and I are at rest. The only energy that we're using on our bicycle right now is for, or the only thing that we're doing on our bike is for basic functions like breathing. So similarly in hybrid synergy drive, well, um, the two drive sources, the motor and the engine, are at rest, right? So all the while the battery back here is supplying the power to run the heating, the ventilation, the air conditioning systems, for example. So the, being back to our bicycle, the key here is right now, neither of us are wasting any energy. I'm only using stored power right now, which is my breakfast this morning. Okay. Now take a look at this slide here. This, uh, this is a single rider bicycle. 
Now, what do you think this bicycle rider is? As the sole power source, who do you think this bicycle yes. represents? Yes. A yes. gas engine vehicle. You guys got it. Since that person is the only power source, the only way he or she keeps cool is to Go. keep on riding, keep going. You got it. So in other words, the engine has to stay on to run the heating, the ventilation, the air conditioning systems, thereby using fuel and wasting it. So I can do this in a hybrid vehicle right now with my HVAC system on, keeping Glenn cool, because I know that the energy I'm using right now to fan Glenn, I'm going to recoup that energy later once we get started. So to summarize, the powertrain is at rest, but all the systems are operational. So the light has changed to green, or it's our turn to go, and we're starting off. I am powerful enough, you can see I'm the only one moving right now on our bike, I'm powerful enough to get our bike going and continue to keep it going at low speed. And I'm relaxing right now, of course, uh, so therefore I'm not using any fuel. I'll let Matthew do all the pedaling right now. Great job, Matthew. Thank you. Similarly, in hybrid synergy drive, the powerful electric motors are able to alone drive the wheels at start off and at low speeds. This gets you that famous silent drive that we're known for because I don't make any noise. Stealth mode. Stealth mode. <laughs> More importantly, at this point, the vehicle is not using any fuel, nor is it producing any emissions. Pull up. Okay. Okay, I'm taking over now because we, I've trained for this higher speed situation. Ah, uh, but do not think I'm lazy or anything because I'm in good enough shape, as you can clearly see, and I have enough stored power where I can lend a hand. But eventually, I'm going to start getting pretty tired, but that's okay because I know behind me I can count on Glenn. Lend a hand. Similarly, a hybrid synergy drive, the motors drive the car at first, but they may need some help. If they do, hybrid synergy drive will start the gas engine to lend some assistance. The gas engine kicks in smoothly and supplies the additional power. However, it may also create a surplus. That surplus, of course, is then sent to the hybrid battery for later reuse. The key here is that Gwen and I are now working together, as you can see, both our legs are moving. We're operating in a synergistic and balanced way to keep the bike going and our car, and also send some stored uh, energy back to the battery. You may have noticed we've built up some speed, but at some point we'll have to slow down and eventually stop. So as you can see, Matthew has taken the seat off the pedals to help us decelerate. And he's now enjoying an ice cold Gatorade, replenishing some energy. But we're still going pretty fast, so we may need to apply the brakes. As you can see, Matthew is doing just that, and is still drinking his ice cold Gatorade, as braking too replenishes some energy. So, you can replenish energy in a hybrid synergy drive vehicle in two additional ways, over and above engine surplus. Coasting, where you saw I took my feet off the pedals, you take your feet off the gas pedal, the, the motors will divert energy back to the battery, but also braking, where you're diverting even more energy back to the hybrid battery. Remember that um, hybrid synergy drive uh, is a recycling bin analogy I mentioned from earlier, right? Putting in, taking out, storing. This process also contributes to a lower total cost of ownership, lower parts and labor costs, which we'll touch, touch on later on as far as maintenance, but also lower fuel costs as the coasting and braking energy is being stored for reuse later on. All right, ready. Here we go. Okay, now you can see. Sorry. We're accelerating. Both Glenn and I are now giving it our utmost. Remember that single rider bicycle from earlier? He's history because there's how many of him? One. One. How many of us? Two. Look at us. We're sweating. Who says hybrids have no power? <laughs> In hybrid synergy drive, Matthew and I are working at maximum power. The system is now reusing so many energy that was stored earlier on for, for later reuse. In effect, what we're doing here is delivering power equivalent to vehicles with a large gas engine. Don't let customers challenge you on the size of when in their vehicles. It's not the size of the engines that counts, it's how Glenn uses my motors. And don't forget when accelerating in a gas engine only vehicle, we're using nothing but fuel and lots of it, thereby wasting money. In a hybrid synergy drive vehicle, yes, you are using the engine, uh, but you're also adding the power of the electric motor. Because the motors are helping.